How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be installing a two-zone Mitsubishi ductless system. Let's do some work. All right, so to give you a little bit of backstory here, we have a package unit down here that currently supplies the entire house. Uh, the ductwork goes into the basement, and then there's a small branch line or trunk line that goes up into the second floor and feeds the second floor. And naturally, that's not going to work very well. There's only one thermostat, so the upstairs stays hot. So what we're going to do is there's basically two rooms. You can see the windows up there, um, and there's a little small bathroom in the middle. We're just going to put a um, ceiling uh, cassette a one way in each room, and we're going to come out with a line set right there. And the condenser will go right over here next to the package unit. So as you can see, the electrical has already been ran. We're going to do a wall mount right here. The line set's going to come on the right-hand side of that window. Come straight down the wall. Should look nice. All right, so I'm ready to hang this unit. You notice it has slits here for the all thread to go through. So basically, you just gotta move these kind of out of the way a little bit and then slide them in 
to set it on the foot. What I wanted to show you here is you need a washer on the bottom and the top. And what I like to do is put a small piece of tape here to hold this washer up. That way you're not fighting with it whenever you're trying to put this unit into place. And then you just remove the tape, slide the washer and nut down, and you're good to go. Should be ready to go. The lower nut and washer stay below. Uh -huh. Basically you just get it to rest okay, on that. Yeah, that's that's the objective. And then this yeah. One side at a time if you want to do yours. to adjust it to where this is flush with the sheetrock. So it's like, mm -hmm. So when I originally came out here to do an estimate, I needed to perform a low calculation for the upstairs to figure out what size equipment I was gonna need for this job. And the app that I like to use for that is Laser Calc Mobile. It's a very easy app to use, super quick, and it's straightforward. And it's perfect for this type of application where you just need a block load. You don't need to do a room by room uh, load calculation. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app and show you how easy and simple it is to use. Um, now, I've already, created the low calculation for this job obviously because we're here installing today so I'm just going to walk you through like the process and how I actually did it now um, so I'm just going to go ahead and edit you're going to put in the address that you're going to be working at and what that's going to do is give you um, the parameters as far as the heating and the cooling um, parameters so for this area 94 degrees is the the temperature that we look at for design for air conditioning mode and then 14 degrees is design for the heating mode, which it's already built in. You just gotta plug what city you're in and it, it populates it for you, which is pretty nice. Um, you add your square footage, pretty straightforward. As you can see, it's very simple to use this app. Um, it's just, it, it gives you exactly, you know, step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how to actually go through the process. Pick your window type, uh, how much window area you have. So if you've got like a three by five window, that's 15 square feet. So you put in the square footage of, of all the windows for this particular area. Uh, construction type, it's loose. Your floor type and your insulation, your wall type and insulation, um, ceiling as well. If you have appliances, duct location if you have any, how many people are gonna be in the space, and you're done. Like literally, after you do some measurements, this only takes you maybe two minutes and you've got a proper load calculation. It's amazing. It has all the information that you need right here. You can email it or text it, whatever you need to do to your customer or, or put it into your CRM. Um, so anyhow, this job, it says we require a ton and a half system. Um, I, I went with a 20K Mitsubishi condenser and two 12K indoor units. So um, we're right where we need to be. It even gives you a breakdown of all the categories of the BTUs requirements, sensible load, latent load, all that good stuff. So anyway, this app is fantastic, especially for this type of situation here. So I'm gonna leave a link down in the description for you. Check it out, download it. Um, there's a free trial that you can check out for yourself. And if you like it, pay for the subscription. I think it's well worth it because uh, doing a low calculation, even for just change outs, it's super important. One, two, three, four, five, six big screws, and then probably that's the little guy. Yeah. Yeah. You can open it up. Yeah, go ahead.
Today didn't quite go to plan, but it's just the way it goes sometimes. Uh, basically, we started checking into the, uh, the other room and we realized as we got up there and started measuring around, uh, the ceiling joists up there were a different dimension than what we needed. We needed basically 16 on uh, uh, 16 inch on center for this indoor unit to fit up in there properly. And it's an older house, so all of those joists were much closer. They were 12 inches, 13 inches, things like that. So I got with the homeowner and uh, he's got a framer that's doing a bunch of work at this property. They're doing other things too. He's gonna have him actually cut in the ceiling joist and box in to that way structurally it's, it's uh, proper. That's not really something that I wanna do. Um, so anyhow, he's gonna frame all that in. I gave him the dimensions that they need, where we wanna put it and all that. So when we come back, there's gonna be an opening there, perfect size. I don't have to worry about cutting anything. Um, all I gotta do is all thread unistrut and then go from there, so. And then I didn't wanna run any line set or any of that because where we're penetrating through to get outside is right there where he's gonna be cutting and opening everything. And I don't want him to accidentally mess up the line set and all that, so to me, it's just not worth it. Um, so we just packed up everything, cleaned up, made a good game plan of coming back in a couple days. So there's going to be a part two to this video where we come back, finish everything up and get it started up. But I'm happy with the, the way the first air handler went in. Um, with the, the grill going on, it's clean looking, it looks flush. Um, just happy with it overall. So anyhow. I guess that's going to complete today's video. I really hope you guys got something out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Really appreciate you guys being here watching these videos. See you on the next one.